Hello, welcome to part three of building my event venue. I promise this is the final part and I'm going to have the reveal in the final few clips. If you missed part one and two, it's going to be linked down below. And now let's get into today's video. So a lot happened in the past few days. We got the chandeliers installed. We got new windows in the back. And today we're getting cameras and the security system installed. And we also have a little bit of paint job left to do. But unfortunately, my painter got to the absolute final part and he dropped it all over the carpet. It sucks, but it is what it is. Tomorrow, we're also going to be touching up the ceiling just because we did open it up um, a few times during the renos. Just got my tables today. Perfect timing as the curtains go up tomorrow. And after that, I can start really setting up the place. Okay, so my curtains are in. Oh my god, I am so happy. I'm going to open them up for you guys. They add such a nice charm to the room. It just looks way fancier now. This is the windows. And then they did one of the walls. I am in love. I can't wait for them to do the other side. So today I have a lot of unboxing to do. I already started. I know that some of this stuff um, is for my contractor to come and set up, but I have my speakers in here somewhere. So I want to at least set that up and see how they look. So let's get to it. Okay, so one of the things I got was a vacuum and I wish I got this from day one. But you guys, the confusion of how to start this, you're going to see it on my face. I think I took like three hours to figure this out. And that's the only thing I ended up doing that day because I was just like, what the actual fuck is going on here? Yeah. So this is me the following day because we finally figured it out. <laughs> Today is a really good day because I'm going to start actually setting up the place, so decorating and all that. I'm going to start with what I don't want to do the most, which is bringing the chairs down so we have the space on the top floor for what we really need. I'm going to just play my camera while working and we'll see what I get done today. Okay, this day was worse than a workout. Like this was beyond exhausting. These tables, I think I legitimately took 78 breaks to undo 10 boxes total. I know this looks like nothing, but it literally took me out of life a hundred billion times. I'm not even kidding. So the next few clips, you can just watch me struggle pretty much. So I'm editing this video about a month after these clips and I already sold these tables that you see me kind of setting up right now. This is probably the worst mistake that I made here buying these tables just because not only was it so hard dealing with them, but they don't fold, right? Um, obviously when you start a business you're gonna make mistakes. I sold them and then bought foldable rectangular tables. I wish I did that from the start, but again when you start a business you're gonna make a lot of mistakes and you can just learn from them. After months and months, ACs are finally in. If you're going to open a business, oh, by the way, here's one. And then here's another one. If you're going to open a business, make sure to look into that from the start because they were out of stock everywhere. My curtains on the other side are in. And how nice does it look with the new windows? back to the basement tomorrow we are installing the cold room i actually completely forgot about it but i called the same person that did it for my grocery store and he's gonna start the installation tomorrow um so yeah it's gonna be right in the middle it was just the most logical place to put it and it's gonna take a few days to get it installed this is day one this is day three I love how high the door is. I don't know what I was expecting, but I feel like this is just not what I was expecting. And this is day nine. It's all done. We have to still put the lights in some shelves, but it's good enough for the first few events that I'm going to have. So super happy. It's really big and spacious and just the perfect size overall. I also set up the curtains nicely that day because I got my wall washers. Now eventually I do want a professional lighting company to come and install them. I don't know if I want them at the top of the curtain or on the floor how I'm installing them right now. But I guess once I plug them in I'll kind of decide what I eventually want it to look like. For now I'm just going to leave it as it is. 
and I love that these change colors so I can have them like blue, red, pink, pretty much whatever I want. I do like them like this, but let me know if you prefer them having at the top. I'm just curious. After two months of waiting, I finally received my track lights and my electrician came. And this was the last step of renovations before the ducts went up. Since the renos were done, I could set up the tables and I know it looks like a hot mess, okay? I didn't know I was supposed to steam the tablecloths before. You live and learn and that night and the following day, I started preparing for an event. <clears throat> Not even kidding, that's in the following week. But this is my first time doing it, okay? I'm stressed, I don't know what I'm doing. And I did the tables like so. I think I did a decent job. So in a second, I'm going to show you the before and after. But first, I just want to say thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. I hope this inspired you to open your dream business. This journey was honestly very challenging. Um, I learned a lot. I made a lot of mistakes. I can make a whole video about just my mistakes so you can avoid them when you open your business next. And yeah, thank you so much. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to like and subscribe for more. And I will show you the reveal now.